Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to do this little video to show you guys what I've been up to. So during the Corona season, gyms closed. And with that closure, man, a lot of people were stuck trying to figure out how to do their effective workouts at home. Some people altogether stopped doing it. Other people turned to body weight and resistance bands. I was one of the people that went to resistance bands and a few dumbbells I had. If you're somebody who's worked out and had to experience this, you know that gym equipment has been hard to find the last six months. So, uh, with people getting into home improvement and renovating things in their house and just trying to, you know, be productive with their time, uh, I'm also one of those people. So, I just want to talk about some of the goals that I had. First thing I wanted to do was, the end goal was I wanted to turn my single car garage into a home gym. Doing that meant that I had to take my dingy garage and empty it out, uh, make it suitable for working out, and then also somehow manage to find gym equipment that seems impossible to find. So over that time, I looked into how to finish the floors and things like that. I started getting shopping lists together for some of the equipment that I most desired. And in doing that, here's what I came up with step by step. First step was emptying the garage. And to do that, I needed somewhere to put the stuff. So I started looking into building a shed in the backyard. Uh, that was a laboring process and I'm stubborn. So I did not have it brought and installed. I decided if I have to build the floor myself, that I'm just gonna build the whole damn thing myself. So I did that. Here's what it looks like. The next step, after I've emptied everything out of the garage, the next thing was fixing the floor, cleaning out the spider webs, just cleaning it in general. So that process included putting acetone on the floor, uh, using a water sealing stain, and then painting the walls and sealing that. Um, I do get moisture in there, but I did minor concrete work, and I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you this. I am no handyman, but this process was not incredibly difficult and I'm confident that anybody else who thinks they're not a handyman is fully capable of doing it with the help of a few YouTube videos maybe and just asking some questions. If I can do it, anybody can do it. With that, treating, treating the garage for spiders, um, I just did some home remedies that I googled. I got some mint oil, um, peppermint oil, cotton swabs, soaked them, threw them in every little dingy corner and I just check every day with like a stick and try to get the cobwebs and stuff out um yeah i've noticed an improvement they're still there but i you know i just need to stay on top of it that's all there is to that so getting into the shopping list the first thing i wanted to do was i wanted to get a power rack um i have a low ceiling so that created a challenge itself so with the low ceiling i had to get a low ceiling power rack with the power rack i wanted that to be the centerpiece of this one car garage gym and with doing that, I needed, there was a few things that were important to me. It needed to be multifunctional. It needed to be space conscious. I just needed to have space to bring maybe three or four people in there at one time, depending on who I'm training or working out with. Some of the essential things on my shopping list have included the short power rack, barbell with weight, dumbbells, additional attachments. I got a pulley system as well, floor mats. Getting the floor mats was a nightmare. Um, I'm part of a garage gym group on Facebook and looking into what people do for the floor, a lot of people said go to Tractor Supply, get horse stall mats. I went there several times and it looks like they're just out in the region. So the original plan was get four of the four by six horse stall mats that are three quarters inches thick and that didn't play out. So I ended up breaking down and buying the little puzzle piece tiles that are three quarters of an inch thick, which I'm gonna be honest, I had my doubts about it, but they look pretty damn good now that they're in place. So um, I, I've done all the work there is to do. The gym is ready. I've worked out in it for weeks now, and I wanted to share this video with everybody just to see the work that went into it. And I just thought it was a cool process to document and put together for my first video. So I'm gonna take it away. Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm continuing where I left off. Uh, so just to kind of catch us up to speed, I have been finishing the garage. I need to water seal this thing and I also want to paint the floor. So to do that, I need to put down a bonding primer. So what I did was I actually forgot that I was planning to film this, so I already kind of got started. I'm using this uh, Bare Premium Concrete Masonry Bonding Primer. Um, this was recommended by a guy at Home Depot. Um, just 
catch us up. Um, I've already used acetone and a water mix to try to clean the floor. To be honest, I didn't see much of a difference, so I'm not 100% I even did it right. Um, but what I'm doing now is I've already swept out the floor, everything's dry from the acetone that I put down yesterday. So now I'm using a paint roller and the bonding primer and I'm just gonna lather it onto the floor like paint. And I'm gonna do about two thirds of the garage and then I'm gonna let it dry for about two hours. So here we go. So it's been about, been about two and a half hours, so step on the floor, it's a little sticky, but I can definitely feel the grit. I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, solid color concrete stain. Um, I was able to get it colored like a light concrete color, so it's like a Pacific gray is what it's called. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
So I'm at the front door coming into the garage and right in front of us when we come in we've got the dumbbell rack here got up to 50 pounds and then let's go ahead and take a step back get my back to the garage door and this is what the gym looks like so from the corner we got the floor mats see I got the landmine there got the squat rack set up everything's weighed down over here we've got a weight bench for bench pressing inclines and all that good stuff Got the, uh, got the balance ball, got the fan and everything going. Uh, gonna have a mini fridge in here pretty soon. And uh, I think I have all the essentials that you need for a effective home gym. Got some cable attachments here. Um, I know one thing that I'm looking to get is a wide grip lap bar. And I've got the pulley attachment there on the back of the rack. Now this is a short rack, so the only problem I'm running into is when I set the cable up on the pulley system, the cable then seemed a little bit longer, so that's something I'm going to have to figure out as I go. But other than that, this is the gym. Alright, well, that's the tour of the new gym. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. How did I do as a handyman and how did I do in curating the setup and all the equipment? If there's anything that you think I could do better or improve on or anything that you would do, leave a comment. Um, I would love to look for opportunities to improve. I plan on working out there. I don't think I'm going to the gym anymore since I have one in my home and I think this was a great decision. I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, like and subscribe, tell people about it. I'm really trying to get into YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.